In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can import your Field Genius project into pretty much any program. Um, for this example, I'm going to import into MicroSurvey CAD 2005, although normally with uh, importing into MSCAD or InCAD, you'd be able to use the sync wizard commands to do it uh, a lot easier. But um, the method we'll go through here can be used with uh, importing into any other program. So I've got my Field Genius project open here. I've got um, a lot of points and lines. The points I want to export into an ASCII file and the lines I want to export into a DXF file that we can open up in the program. So we'll go into the main menu by clicking the Start button and then Export. And I'm going to export an ASCII coordinate file. You can change the file name if you need to. For example, uh, if your program requires a specific extension, you can specify that here. I'll just keep the default of .xyz. And I want to include all of my points. I'm going to increase my uh, precision to six decimal places. We'll do a comma delimiter. This could be comma or space. And the file format we want to choose is standard. So the standard format is your point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description. So we'll just click OK here, and that's going to write all of your point coordinates to the ASCII file, which is contained just inside your project folder. I also want to create a DXF file for all of my line work. So we want to export the lines and arcs, so we've got that turned on. I don't want to export my points because the points will bring in through the ASCII file, so I'll leave that clear. And again, you could change the file name if you like. I'll just keep the default. And depending on your program, you may also be able to import um, the, the data as either an XML file, a fieldbook file, a shape file, uh, just whichever you specifically need. So the files that were created for Field Genius, these are um, all of the files for this particular project. In particular, we've got the uh, ASCII file that has been created, our DXF file with all of the line work, and the raw file can also be imported into just about any uh, survey program. It is a TDS RW5 format, so it's quite a standard format that most programs will be able to read. And if you've done any road alignments, the uh, information for them will be in the XML file. So I'm going to uh, skip over a step here. Normally you would have to connect your data collector to the computer with ActiveSync and copy your files onto your hard drive. Because I was using the emulator, um, the files are already on my hard drive in my C drive. So in MicroSurvey CAD, I'm just going to browse over to the uh, Field Genius Project folder and open up that DXF file that we exported. And depending on the program that you're using, the steps that I'm going to show you here may be a little bit different, but the uh, general idea should be the same. So I'm just going to open up my DXF file. This project is feed. I'm just going to change my scale factor. And then we'll do a zoom extents. And there's all of our line work. Of course, we don't have any point information yet. We need to import that in from the ASCII file. So I'm going to import ASCII file. It's coordinate delimited. In Field Genius, the standard format, as I mentioned, is this uh, point number, northern easting elevation description. And we did choose the comma delimiter. And there's my ASCII file. And you can see it drawing in the points now on the screen. It is a uh, fairly big project. There's a lot of points. This will just take a moment. And the other method we can use, um, as I referred to earlier, is by importing the raw file. It is a, a TDS RW5 file. That would be an, another alternate method to using the ASCII file. I'll go through that in a moment. Now that uh, we've got b both our line work and our point coordinates, 
just going to turn off my grips. Clicking on a line here, you'll see that um, the line work is not at all attached to the database points. It's just a, a regular CAD line. What I want to do here is uh, attach this line work into the database so that it's linked to the points. So if you, uh, you know, use the RTS to uh, move your points, or if I do any uh, you know, traverse adjustments, anything like that, the line work will be moved along with the point coordinates, and everything will stay uh, in the right spot. So to do that, uh, Microsurvey CAD has a command called auto add points to objects. And I'm just going to select everything. And so what it's doing now is it's just going through and linking the line work to the point coordinates at either end of the, uh, the line. OK, so now we've got all of our line work attached into the database. And we can verify that just by clicking on one of the lines. You can see this line now is attached to these two points. So if either of the points move, the line will be adjusted to um, stay with the points. As I mentioned before, we can also use the uh, raw file. Let me show you how we can go through that. Now the raw file is collected with Field Genius in an RW5 format, so there's no export necessary to get that. So we can import either the Field Genius raw file or non microservice products would probably have an option for the TDS RW5 raw file. And we'll just select the raw file. So it's found some deleted point records. And now we've got your raw uh, survey information in case you didn't need to uh, make any um, edits to the raw data and, and reprocess it or run any adjustments, anything like that. So either of those methods can be used to import your files into um, pretty much any desktop program.